Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. This goes with packet number one. Mark where the adjusted length should be. The reference point was the incisal edge. Mark that in too, please. Your chart should look like this. This radiograph goes along with packet number two. The line, the packet was marked to indicate the length to which the file was originally inserted into the tooth. Record the adjusted, accurate working length. And the reference point, which was the incisal edge. Your chart should look like this. And here is a molar radiograph of a molar with files inserted into the buccal and lingual canals. This goes along with packet number three. The, the marks on the packet indicate the length to which the files were inserted into the tooth. So mark the um, adjusted accurate length. And your chart should look like this. If you've had any problems filling out these last three little quiz questions, refer to your handout or ask an instructor about what you don't understand. This procedure is usually fairly straightforward, and uh, people usually get very, very good results. The procedure itself is deceptively simple, and as a result, people make mistakes, uh, not because that they do things wrong, but they're a little bit careless. The main thing is to be very careful in recording your length accurately, making sure that you don't move the stop after you've taken the x-ray, and that you don't put too sharp a bend in the file so it breaks off into the canal. If you're careful, your results will turn out good, and you'll have a successful case, more than likely. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.